Okay, looking at the Sunlu S8 uh, printer. It's their first printer they put out to the standard manufacturer of PLA filament. Anyway, we've already unboxed this and we printed out a couple things already. But uh, the second one we printed out was this boat right here. The first one I'll get that in a little while to show you, but this one you can see turned out much better. And you can see kind of some of the smoothness of this particular one. So I was pretty happy with the second one. The first one, we were just, uh, we were just basically calibrating settings. So they call this a Benchy. This is what they use to calibrate settings. You can see the different challenges it puts the printer through. You can see the 45 degree angle here. You can see the arch, the circle, you see the square. You can see some of these different features in there, the little steering wheel inside. It's kind of hard to see that. But and inside the little boat. And that really puts the uh, printer through its paces. Anyway, so we're going to run through another print here. And I'm going to turn on the printer. You can see the nozzle here, the light. Just kind of a nice feature. It's got the Z axis, the bar there. And then this moves by using the uh, X and Y axis on the bottom. It's got two belts to do that. So I'm going to push. Let's see if I can get this to focus on this. So I'm going to push basically in. That's the info screen. It tells me the temperature here. So the current temperature of the nozzle is 33 degrees C, settings at zero, current temperature of the bed is at 33 degrees C. It's pretty hot here right now. And then the settings at zero, you see the fan speed, the position X, Y, and Z axis. And uh, this is where it displays basically how long it's been printing for and the duration it has to go, that kind of stuff. Okay, so as we prepare to print, we're going to go to prepare and move access to home. Auto home, you can see where that goes. Now we'll actually move this to its home location. We've already, as we built this, we, went, we, we already calibrated the z-axis height, make sure that was correct. It has to be even on both sides. Okay, so we've done that. And then, so far we've done is on every single print, we go in here, go to the prepare screen, Go to a bed leveling, bed leveling, and uh, it'll move this axis for us here. It'll start it. So let's go and get that started. Click to begin. And it's just funny. Uh, it has a standardized place it use, uses to find. We can use to test the height of the pin here. You can see that. I'm going to use just a uh, paper, so they tell us to use, to determine where our height is. You want to just feel some slight drag. And uh, if I don't, I can adjust this wheel to set that up to kind of close that gap. You can see the gap's pretty tight, but I just want slight, ever so slight drag on this, uh, this nozzle. We'll push this one again. It'll take us to the next position. Okay. And I recommend doing this, especially in the beginning, do this multiple times before the print, just to make sure that the leveling is right. Just one slight, just slight resistance, not too much. That feels okay to me. Push it again. And this sequence, you can play, like I said, play out the sequence, you know, three to four times. Check this one too. And when the, you want to leave a little bit of space because apparently when the uh, bed heats up, it will expand slightly. This one's always been a little stickier, so I'm going to kind of help it here by using this. A little, a little bit more, a little more room. Too much room, but a little more room. There we go. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, I'll push it again. Okay. 
check it again here. Yeah, that feels pretty good. That's what we want. So push this. It's going to go back to its home position. Okay. And like I said, uh, sometimes in the very beginning you want to do this multiple times just to make sure that as you adjust other corners, you can readjust because that affects other corners' height as well. So, all right, that's auto bed leveling.